Hello, Tobias again. And last time I hit something of a problem with my keymap settings. There's a small bug currently in the game, which means entering enter and escape in keymaps is a little more difficult than usual. You might, you can just enter this keymap as R and square bracket enter, square bracket close, but you might even have to enter it directly in the pref file to use it. So I will explain the pref files now in your .engband directory or in Windows in your, uh, I think it's angband slash user. Let me look it up. Uh, It's in yes in libuser on Windows on Linux. It's in uh, home dot angband angband. There are the safe games and the personal preferences. You go to the preferences file and maybe you have to edit it because it sometimes adds strange stuff in currently with the special keys. Now continue with the game. So now I can rest pressing with the 5 button. Yay! So I had been explaining keymaps. Not a useful keymap to add is uh, for me for example you can put it on another key on the keypad 5 F0 backtick space space yo. Now those are keymaps. If you made a keymap you append it to your to a file so that you can load it again. If it's the same name as your character it automatically loads. Same as with save options, load options. Now I went through all the options finally. So, but instead of playing the game, I will explain the edit files. So, let's leave the game. Already explained the personal options. There's another options file. This is in for a standard install on Unix these days in etc games, Engband. Edit. Those are the so-called edit files. Or the pref files are there also. But in a, a non-installed game like I'm using, it's of course in your directly in your directory. It's in lib edit. So those are the game settings. You can mod your game here without having to recompile it. Our common stuff edit to do to make the game easier again: store text. Uh, no, not store text. Uh, shop owner text. Here you can see how much money each shop owner has maximally. You can add a zero if you want to sell expensive stuff. You can even then just jump into the game without newly compiling. Uh, or something else. You can, for example, go to uh, P class and give the mage back the detection spell that it lost a few uh, some time back or the heal spell so those are those settings there's also the lib uh, pref which has the font settings mainly so there is sometimes you get a unusual bug then you have to go into your font settings and here's a special wall display if I comment these out then uh, walls will de be displayed by hash signs instead of special characters or place dots on floors instead of the special character sometimes useful to avoid some bugs on some people like the real or old look 
here's also message.pref which changes the display of messages in the status line most of the stuff is white you can go through it, it's not really well documented but it gives you some more options, I will not change anything here now back in the game So, one more thing to explain is inscriptions, and yeah, I will start now. Now, I'm here in the game of Angband. I can start playing. Yay! I have my character. I'm standing on the downstairs. I could go into the dungeon with my no equipment. It's more fun. So, I will walk over to the the old game instruction set, go to the get step one of playing Angband, go to the general store, buy a lantern and then kill Morgoth. General store doesn't have lanterns these days, so you go to the black market and check if they have land. They do, cool. Nice start. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it, I think. So, G for buy, or get to be exact. Now I have a lantern. It's the most important thing for Angband to play is to have light. Oh, mushrooms of the ability. This would be useful for a mage. If you want to see what is an item in the store, what it does, you press large I. Uh, doesn't work anymore. Strange. No. You examine your lantern, see what it does. Then I wield or where my lantern, now it goes here, equipped item number F, a lantern, where is 5 pounds. Yes, uh, if I want to walk faster, I press the shift while walk and it automatically walks into until it meets something interesting like a branch in the road or a monster. I, bu I will buy some food, you always need food, but not as much as in NetHack for example. You need fuel for your lantern, you need a lot more than an attack. Used to be able to throw it, but not really anymore. Some scrolls of face store, how much money do I have? Yeah, let's get three. Those are short range teleport spells. A word of recall. To go town teleport is it. G gets you back to town. I might buy a shovel, it's very useful, but I don't really have money, I will buy a spot instead. Uh, three is a... Uh, yes, three is a uh, main gouge. Uh, a useful weapon. Get one. Yield E. And then we can go down. Not much to explain now. Oh yes, inscription. Uh, there's also the option to use the enter key to enter menus you can for example here find all the stuff um, important what did I want to do now uh, utility no enter Inscribe, very well hidden. I inscribe my scroll of recall. Inscribing means adding a note, but those notes are usually special in it in Angband. So for example if I go to star it. Then if I drop it, I ah, I wrote it the wrong way around. So I 
transcribe my scroll again with dash star drop number D then it asks for a warning the uh, exclamation mark says uh, ask for confirmation and the star ask for confirmation on any command so whatever I want to do with the recall scroll it asks for confirmation useful for example uh, I can I need to take off my weapon first I can inscribe it that is the weapon with the second really important inscription e uh, with the inscription of add that is for the command here give it the letter zero so this way if I press wir uh, of yield I can press zero instead of e to equip it which is quite useful because uh, then you can have a macro this is even defined on the start big X big X this gives you equip the weapon number zero and if you have a shovel you can switch between your main weapon and your shovel this way so I'm ready to dive go down into the dungeon you enter a maze of down staircases this seems like a quiet and peaceful place and uh, there's a unique in the same room as me Whoa. I wouldn't call this really peaceful. So, this is a dungeon. The dungeon is generated nearly every time you walk up or down a stair. So, if I go up again now and down again, which I might just do, then this will be a totally different level than before. Going up and down again so quickly is called stair scumming. It's not considered mm, a little bit exploity. I don't usually do it unless something really strange is. Now I will walk into this B. You can see here my monster list. Grip, Farmer, Maggot, Stock, a unique monster, and a fruit bed. Now, normally the fruit bed would be displayed. Right? I will look at the fruit bed with the accent. Target generated monster, it's quick. 200% of my current speed. This is this line here is added by a patch that I added. It's also yellow here because it's faster than me. Also not in the standard game. I see no items. The item list didn't refresh properly. Uh, information. Item list. No. Uh, yeah, the gold is not shown. This is gold lying on the ground. I can also use star to target mode target farmer market stuck then it says here grip 